But anyway, what we're talking about today is trail cameras and security on your property. And so I've got no help from the DNR uh, or the sheriff's office. And uh, it sounds like it's a real lack of resources. So we're gonna talk about cameras today. These Spartan cameras, they're cell cameras. Um, there's a good one and there's a bad one. I didn't know it until I already got it. And I'll tell you which one I would get, which one I would avoid unless you get something else to go along with it. Oakley dokley. All right, let's go get fuel in this beast. We'll do that. We've got that that really nice well it was a really nice two track that kind of that lane that goes down between the pastures and i just knew this was going to happen to it this year i wanted to uh kind of deny that reality but it was going to turn into a mud pit and so we did not put any gravel down because i was holding off to see what that might look like and it looks really bad and it's going to be it's it's november 29th so winter hasn't really the wet season has barely started and so it's uh we're gonna have to do something about that Probably not this winter, unless it dries out and, and we can do something with it, but for sure next spring, kind of lose that aesthetic, you know, that kind of nice two lane, just dirt lane that's going down the grass and everything else in there. But uh, maybe if we give it some time, some of that grass will come back through and get some of that vibe back. But anyway, what we're talking about today is trail cameras and security on your property. And so I've got no help from the DNR uh, or the sheriff's office, and uh, it sounds like it's a real lack of resources. So we're gonna talk about cameras today. These Spartan cameras, they're cell cameras. Um, there's a good one and there's a bad one. I didn't know it until I already got it, and I'll tell you which one I would get, which one I would avoid, unless you get something else to go along with it. Oh, Chris says I didn't mention what that was about. I got no help with the trespassers, possibly poachers on my property, not this property or other property, about 40 minutes away walking by with a bow in hand, walking back by, looking at the camera on a four-wheeler, packing out a deer right off of my property. So that's been um, two or three weeks now, no word. We'll get into that. So we've got to swap batteries in these things for like the fourth month in a row, which is not cheap. These are lithium ion batteries. They take 12 of them in there and they're like, I don't know, two or three bucks a, a pop. It's getting pretty ridiculous. And uh, it doesn't say the batteries are dead, they're just low. I'm gonna take this whole thing off just to show you more about it, but you can swap the batteries just like this when it's when it's still attached. But I haven't had any pictures on here in a week or more. So it might say low, but it's it really means dead. So this is the, uh, the Spartan, it's gotta say a model on here somewhere, doesn't it? Spartan Go Live, all right, and you'll see it right here. The Spartan Go Live. And this version is the newest version that I bought. I bought three of these. And the cool thing about these is that they work on any cell service. And so you don't need to buy a plan for Verizon or a plan for AT&T. You just buy a, a wireless or you know a data plan and it connects to whatever has the strongest signal. And I get pictures really quick off of these, like almost instantaneously, which is really awesome. The downside, like I was saying, is that these things scarf batteries and I submitted a, a question to Spartan's support and they said, oh yeah, you need to get the, the rechargeable solar panel with them. And that's like an extra, it was like 150 or 180 bucks or something on top of that, like added 50% to the cost of these things. And I'm probably gonna end up doing that, otherwise they're just kind of a complete waste and I'm gonna burn through so many batteries that it's gonna cost me way more batteries, but it makes it 
less convenient to move these things around. If you're not using them for security, if you're using them just for, you know, deer cameras or whatever else, and you want to move them constantly or periodically, it's just, you have to find the right spot, have enough sunlight and everything else and yada yada. So I'm pretty disappointed in that all around. Um, the other cameras that I have, and we'll put a link to those too, uh, it's another Spartan version. It's a little bit, a little bit cheaper, and they're an older style. I, they still sell them, as far as I know. But you have to pick your plan, like pick a Verizon plan that you would uh, hook up to, or AT&T, whatever has the strongest signal in your area is, I think, the route you're supposed to go. Those take a little bit longer to send the pictures, but those batteries last maybe not a year, but pretty darn close to it. So the last time I replaced mine out there at the other property was in July, I think, at some point, and they're still reading full 100% charge, and I hadn't replaced them until the summer before. So they last a really long time, unlike these things. And so I'll show you, too, the app on my, on my phone. Maybe I can do a little screen recording of that, because um, you can manage everything right on there. You can change settings if you want to change from pictures to video, or if you want to do, you know, every five seconds or every minute or, whatever um, or even frequency if you want to do or um, quantity if you want to do two pictures or four pictures or one picture or whatever else uh, you have all that ability to make those adjustments too and so that i mean there's a lot of really good things i'm not i want you to know the good and the bad about these from somebody who's used them i've got eight cameras overall at both my properties and i really do like them overall they're just not perfect and these uh battery drainers here are the most annoying thing about it So uh, these cameras are gonna come with a couple things. They come with a screw, so you can screw into something if you want to, um, or the strap. I, I like the straps better whenever I can. I don't know why, they just seem to work a little easier for me. I've had those screws uh, break off a couple of times actually, and they can be, they can be good for the, right, for the right area. But uh, so really it's as easy as that. A little adjustment here, that's good. Just click her back on. She'll be taking pictures in no time. Sometimes if you get, I am facing south southwest right now, and you get the certain the sun at the right angle and everything else, it'll go crazy, it'll go bonkers, and send you a picture, like three pictures, you know, or whatever it is, like continuously, ever, as fast as it can, and however fast you have it set. If you have it set to take pictures every 15 seconds, it's going to send you three pictures like every 15 seconds while that sun's in that whole area there. So that, that does drive me crazy. There's, there's sensitivity settings and all that kind of stuff too. For me, that hasn't mattered. But um, one thing that's huge, I wanna tell you about these trespassers slash, I guess I can't say for sure that they were poachers, but man, it sure seems like they were poaching. And I got a good idea of who it was, but we got some really clear pictures. And that's something that I think is awesome about these cameras is you have the option to download HD pictures so you can request it like you submit a little button on the app and request an HD picture and then it takes a little bit of time and it'll it'll turn it into an HD picture and really high quality resolution and and so both seasons shortly before gun season here in Michigan um, had these guys these two guys that I, I know right the area that they were coming in on the property from um, but they were 150 200 yards into my property where this camera's at and they came walking by heading from the north to the south, um, one guy looks right at the camera, one's got a, a bow or a crossbow on his back, and then a uh, short time later, they come back heading north on a four-wheeler with one of the guys sitting on the back of it driving north, and then a short time after that, they come back south again with one guy on a four-wheeler and a deer strapped to the back of the four-wheeler and their guy's walking by. And so yeah, maybe they just trespassed to recover a deer, but there's really very little hunting land besides my property that's in that area. And the prior year, if it's who I think it was, they were sitting right on the fence line looking onto my property. So they're not exactly trying to be, I don't know, secret about it. Now I talked about this a lot about a year ago, about layering security you know, for trespassers because I just can't stand them. You know, they're just so entitled. And there's a few folks that replied in that, in that video about that's not cool, you know, just let people on your land and do whatever, but I work really hard. I worked for years and years and years to be able to buy my own land, and so I want to enjoy it. And I don't appreciate other folks that come on there and just think they can do what they want. It's a liability concern. They leave trash around. They're not respectful. You know, if, if it was a whole different 
time, then maybe that would be something. But just where we're at in this day and age, it's just not, it's just not cool. People are entitled and they think they can do what they want. And it's my land, you know, if you want to get your own land, then work hard for it and make that a priority and then go buy some. But I will say with all these security measures or whatever you want to call it that I've put into place, I've really, really been able to reduce the amount of trespassers. The first year or so we had, I think, somewhere around 15 different trespassers on, on trail camera uh, doing a variety of things, just, just walking or driving their golf cart or um, walking dogs or whatever they're doing. And so it's really really dwindled down. I, I didn't have a single trespasser on camera for a six month stretch since then. It picked up a little bit in the fall this time of year and I had uh, one who I found out was a, a new neighbor on the other end of property. Um, we've kind of since worked that out but these guys haven't heard anything about it. Did have a lady walking her two dogs on there recently too. So these trespassers, I reported them first to the sheriff's office. I wanted to see if they wanted me to talk to them about it or if this was something they wanted me to talk to the DNR. So they said, call the DNR. DNR said, call the rap line. So the rap line had a text thing, their phone system, nobody was answering the phone. So I texted all the information, all the high definition pictures to them, the coordinates, the time. I mean, this was like instantaneously because I got the pictures right away. And I was hoping that somebody could go out there and try to do something right away. And now it's been two or three weeks and I haven't heard anything from anybody. And so eventually the local DNR branch calls me back. We had a good conversation, really nice guy over there. The problem is, is they're severely understaffed. So for in the, all of Kalamazoo County, they had two DNR officers and one of them was out because he got into a high speed chase, ran off the road and whacked a tree. And so he was injured and out of commission for the next month or two. And so for all of hunting season, one DNR officer for all of Kalamazoo County. And it's like, at that point, you know nothing's gonna happen. And it's not because of him, I'm not blaming him, I'm just blaming the structure overall. It's very frustrating. And trespassers and poachers, I feel like, are just not taken very seriously. It's like a slap on the wrist unless there's, I don't know, somebody's out to get them for sure. And so you gotta take matters into your own hands. And so I'm hoping by posting these pictures out here that somebody has some information about these two. All right, so I'm not, you know, it's not like I dwell on this and lose sleep over this, but it's it's very frustrating. And so I want there to be some sort of resolution. I I tend to let a lot of things slide. And at some point you just kind of kind of put your feet down and, and draw a line in the sand and everything else and say enough's enough. And that's just kind of where I'm at. But anyway, let's go change some more batteries and tell you more about these cameras. Folks, if you have some other ideas on what we can do to help catch these trespassers and deter future trespassers, well, I'd love to know about it. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button down below. I know three quarters of you guys watching are not subscribed yet. Come on, it's completely free. You can always unsubscribe later. And hit that like button if you don't like trespassers either. And last but not least, we sell and ship tractor attachments all over the country. So if you're looking for something for your tractor, maybe a new grapple, a snow pusher, snow blower, land plane, stump bucket, Speco Quick Hitch, all sorts of stuff. Go to goodworkstractors.com and see what we have to offer. What's that? The one video he said we actually did the shoot. Two hour video. So I'm thinking with these cameras, the three that I have that really drain batteries, I'm probably gonna end up making these like strictly my security cameras at entrances, you know, the property, the house and the drives, that kind of thing where they never move. I'm gonna get those solar packs set up and uh, not have to worry about those anymore. Folks, we are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. Okay, I'll take you through this app here. 
And so I've got eight cameras on there right now. And okay, so this one, it says it's working while we've been standing in front of it. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and delete these. These are easy to delete. You can see it those kind of cool, pretty clear pictures. But I know for a fact that I've had, we can see these are the other, the other pictures from that I have on there. I haven't deleted any other pictures today. And there are tons of vehicles that have gone back and forth because our pole barn is being finished off. And not a single one of those pictures was captured. That's called, all because those batteries were drained. But you can see everything else on here. Here's out at our other property. Caught some squirrels this morning. A little bit of nothing. Sometimes, you know, they'll miss things. Here's a deer that's in action, though. You can see that. It's kind of cool just running. And then um, I'll go back. But you see how it says HD in the corner of those pictures? Those are pictures that I've downloaded uh, or requested to be downloaded in, in high definition. You can zoom right in on there. And then if you want, you can just save something, hit that button in the bottom left corner, and it'll save right to your photos in here. Nice and organized. It's kind of cool. And you can, you can drop and drag these things if you want to have them. You can rename them however you want to, to have them show up. Here's nighttime pictures on how it shows up. This is in the snow. And it does a good job. There's some older pictures I have, too. Some, there, you get really cool things with trail cameras, you know. Uh, really cool shots. You know, this is over a scrape, so there's a lot of activity that shows up at this scrape, which is kind of cool. But, uh, yeah. So easy to use. It is friendly. Um, I know one of my guys, uh, Ty, has um, is the Stealth Cams. I can't think of what it is. There's another, there's another brand out there that he has that he's not very happy with. Had to have a camera replaced a couple of times. Real glitchy. Doesn't work all that well. Um, so overall, it's a, it's a, I'm pretty happy with these cameras. I, I keep coming back to them because they do perform pretty darn well overall. Huh? Just like me? No. These scrapes all dried up. Alrighty, folks. So I guess I want to summarize it by saying, you know, it's, well, trail cameras in general are a lot of fun. And the idea is you don't have to go out there and mess them all the time. Pull out the SD card, put a new one in, download to your computer or whatever else you want to do. If you can just have it right on your phone instantaneously, that's pretty cool. It's like a, I don't know, it's just a different form of entertainment, I guess. You never know what you might wake up to in the morning when you have 50 pictures that are on your trail cameras or something cool. You know, a big buck or a fox or we've had uh, turkey vultures sunning themselves. We've had blue jays flying and caught on camera just right. Had a a really cool blue heron actually that that came down to that was pretty awesome so there's a lot of fun stuff that shows up on trail cameras just another form of entertainment and you know what's going on in your woods or in other areas of your property or if you're an hour away or 12 hours away it doesn't matter let's say 24 hours away let's say 48 hours away you can be so far away it doesn't even matter and you can still be knowing what's going on people coming in and out of your gate that kind of thing it's it's pretty cool and i would recommend these overall they're just not perfect so anyway a little bit out of the norm for us today we do actually tractor stuff is what we normally do but this is kind of tied into it if you if you have a tractor you probably have a chunk of land too and and you might be interested in this so if you're looking for something for your tractor we'd love to help you out we sell and ship tractor attachments all over the country so go to goodworkstractors.com and if you enjoyed today's video we want you to tag along so hit that subscribe button down below i want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by and until next time stay safe we'll see you soon